Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. Before I even get started with today's video, I just want to take a minute and thank all of you from the bottom of my heart because this morning I finally hit 2,000 subscribers. And I cannot even begin to tell you how unbelievably excited I am about that. I am so super thankful and super grateful. Honestly, I never expected my channel to get quite as far as it's gone, and 2,000 subscribers is a huge goal that I am so happy to have achieved all thanks to you. So thank you all very, very much. Now, in my never-ending quest to bring you the news on any new figures coming out by Mattel, I have stumbled across some more exciting news. Now, any of you that may have the Jurassic Facts app will already probably know, but if not, last night they updated it, and it is now showing the entire Dino Rivals line, or at least the dinosaurs that have been released in the line so far. So if you haven't seen quite yet, I get the pleasure of letting you know that they did announce a few new dinosaurs to the Mattel line. But on top of announcing a few new ones, we also got confirmations on some ones that we were debating upon. Now a lot of these you may already know, and I have actually shown in my upcoming 2019 Mattel figures video, but the first one is the Celurus. As you can see, these pictures are snapped straight from the Jurassic Facts app, so you're not going to be able to get too good of a look at the dinosaurs, but you can at least see what they are, and you can see the name of the dinosaurs. So we've already actually seen this one, we've seen pictures from Amazon, but this is the Celurus. We are also getting another new version of Blue. No idea what kind it's going to be or what it's going to look like, but it's yet another Blue figure. And in an exciting confirmation, we have now confirmed, as you can see, that we are getting the Albertosaurus. So that figure I had shown about two weeks ago, uh, that everyone was kind of debating whether it was an Albertosaurus or not because it was never technically confirmed. This is definitely confirmation that that was in fact the Albertosaurus. So that is the figure we're getting. And then of course the Concavenator, which we have also already seen, who looks really quite cool in the picture on the Jurassic Facts app, but we already knew that's what this was, but regardless we also get to see a, a little sneak peek of its Jurassic Facts app version. We are also getting yet another Dimetrodon, which is awesome, but yet we still haven't actually received the first Dimetrodon from the Destructosaurs sets here in the United States, so hopefully we'll get that at some point, but at least it's good to know we have yet another version coming. Then there are of course two different Dracorex figures, which we have already seen. I've shown you guys pictures of those in the Mattel 2019 figures video. But honestly, Mattel stated that the Dino Rivals figures would start to hit stores before Christmas, or by Christmas at least, so some of these figures may end up being 2018 figures instead of 2019, but who knows, I guess, until they release. And then, as you can see, we are getting another Herrerasaurus, even though we already have two but we will be getting yet another third version, and then another Indoraptor. So this will be actually the fourth version of the Indoraptor, if you include the basic version. Some people do, some people don't, but either way, I'm pretty excited for yet another Indoraptor. And we are going to finally get that red Monolophosaurus that we've been teased with for quite a while. A lot of people were pretty unhappy that the only way to get the Monolophosaurus was to buy the Extreme Chomp and T-Rex set at Walmart, but we will be getting a red version in a standalone release very soon. And then in something that is super exciting and something that I was really hoping they would finally make, and it is a Mattel Parasaurolophus. That is beyond exciting to me, and that's probably one of my most highly anticipated figures that will be coming out in the very near future. I love Parasaurolophus, so I cannot wait to see this. Then we get a pretty cool shot on the Jurassic Facts app of the Plesiosaurus, which we have also already taken a look at, but regardless, it's fun to see it in the app and uh, anticipate its arrival. Then this is the repainted version of the Protoceratops, which I had taken a look at recently in the video as well. So we have already seen what this figure will look like. We are also getting some more versions of the Pteranodon, which uh, I'm not too sure how I feel. At this point, we've got a flock of Pteranodons released already, and for them to keep releasing more is kind of overkill in my opinion, but as long as they look pretty cool, I guess, you know, I'll be fairly excited. Then of course there's the Rampharynchus, which we have also already seen and looked a little iffy to me in the initial pictures that I had seen, but the more I look at it, the more I warm up to it a little bit, so it'll be fun to see him hit stores. Of course the repainted Stegosaurus, which we have also already seen. Not the most appealing Stegosaurus in Jurassic Park history, but I'll be intrigued to see it in person, as a lot of the prototype pictures are never final, so who knows what it'll look like by the time it actually hits stores. Yet another Stiggy Moloch, but uh, who knows what this one will look like again, 
I have no idea at this point what the gimmick or anything will be with this Stiggy Moloch, so I'll be intrigued to see it. Of course, the very highly anticipated Styracosaurus, and it looks super cool on the Jurassic Facts app. I am beyond excited for this one. And the Sukumimus repaint, which also looks very cool in this app. I think the newer paint scheme looks much better than the older one, so I'll really be looking forward to this one as well. The Tapijara, which looks really crazy actually in this picture that I was able to take on the app. But uh, again, another figure that I'll be really looking forward to when it finally hits stores, as it does look really quite cool. And something that I am actually super excited, even though we already got a few Triceratops, I am really looking forward to seeing the new Triceratops and see what kind of paint scheme they come up with on it, and uh, what exactly type of figure it'll be. But regardless, yet another Triceratops, and I am quite excited for it. And something that I wasn't expecting at all, but we're going to get another baby T-Rex. And I don't know for sure, it's a little hard to tell what color it is, but it kind of looks like we're going to get a brown version, so that's pretty cool. And then we are getting some Tyrannosaurus Rex figures, of course. We have seen the bite and fight version, but it says that we're also going to get two other versions. Now, one of which uh, was kind of speculated upon, and we got some slight confirmation when a leaked picture from Mattel got out, but we finally have official confirmation of the bull T-Rex. And I'm um, hoping that... The picture here is just basically the stock version of it. It's just the run-of-the-mill uh, T-Rex type video that they do on the Jurassic Facts app, and it won't actually look like this in the final actual figure because uh, a lot of these dinosaurs don't really look exactly like the figures look, and if this is any indication of what the actual figure will look like, it would appear that it hasn't been re-sculpted to actually look like the bull T-Rex, so I'll keep my fingers crossed that it has actually been re-sculpted to look like the bull Rex, and again, like I said, this is just the Jurassic Facts version. Either way, it's really awesome to have confirmation of the Bull Rex. And then there's, of course, the other Tyrannosaurus Rex that we have here, and I'm really quite interested to know what kind of T-Rex this will be, or what kind of paint scheme it's going to have, or anything like that, as we have no information, really, just other than the fact that we'll have three Tyrannosaurus Rex, aside from the baby, anyway, but three adult T-Rex figures in this batch of Dino Rivals figures so far. And then of course we will be getting some more Velociraptor figures, which was kind of expected because that's just the way they work. We usually get lots of Velociraptor figures, but I have heard that they will be making a Delta and an Echo figure for the Jurassic World Dino Rivals line, so that is awesome. So that's pretty much all of them so far that they've released anyway for the Dino Rivals line. I don't know if more will be added in the future or if this is the complete final list of Dino Rivals figures, but either way, it's really awesome that we were able to see a sneak peek of them on the Jurassic Facts app, and I am really, really excited for these figures. The only downside, in my opinion, to the new figures that we've gotten a glimpse of is the fact that there is no sign whatsoever of the Amargosaurus, the Brachiosaurus, the Indominus Rex, or what we were all hoping for, a new Spinosaurus that maybe us in America could get a hold of. But, so far, no dice, but maybe they're just not part of the Dino Rivals line, I'm not sure. So let me know in the comments what you guys think, and please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.